Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a good week in the market. It is December 16th. Got about 30 minutes to close. We'll look at a little technical analysis on the SPY, on GameStop. Some futures, my portfolio, what I made, what I lost today. What's up, a like up, comment down. Happy money sticks around. We have a Twitter to follow us on at Happy Money YT. As well as the Discord server link for those are in the description. Both three. Um, yeah, market continued its sell-off today, kind of bouncing here at the end of the day, but uh, kind of uh, less of a violent move today. And coming into this triple witching. I gotta stop thinking about trading. <laughs> um, looks like it's gonna be a pretty big, somewhat of a hammer on the SPY. Monday will probably be pretty red also. Just typically how it goes. Friday's red, Monday's red. Jimmy just flipped green on the day. And I think this is, uh, yep, another double doji day. I think we're gonna get on GameStop. So we are at supports. We did not hit the teens. We hit 20.01. Um, I think we're I think we're due for that rally. And we'll see. We'll see when when it'll come and how high it'll it'll get to. Uh, I added some shares yesterday with uh, a few bucks that I found on Weeble. And yeah, I looked at some options today. Didn't really open them. I don't have a whole lot of buying power just because I'm trading uh, futures, which requires so much for the leverage. So um, yeah, I'm actually having to buy puts on GME to be able to have the, the margin requirements. So it's kind of annoying, but uh, we'll get there. Cosmos, just seeing a reverse split. Don was talking about it and I don't really know what's going on with it. It's kind of weird, but it's pretty much squeezing today. And I guess it could continue on on Monday and people talking about it today over the weekend. I don't know. Maybe I should get some shares before close. It ne never really cooled off, just ramped. Uh, Spy is kind of, yeah, I kind of broke through a lot of supports. Kind of started filling this gap here today even. Um, probably a little more red fill this gap, maybe open down here and then rally. And GameStop might be similar today after triple witching though. We'll free up a lot of capital to be able to move stuff around. And SLD period for what we like to see on GME will start next week on Tuesday. Well, for SLD, it's I guess Wednesday, Thursday. But then Tuesday's, uh, of course, when settlement from the options from today come into play. And this double doji is a nice sign of reversal, as well as it being at a support. So we'll see. Not a uh, not a whole lot of price change really today. And this this might be pretty close to the best price you're gonna get on GME. Or who knows? Last time we were here was middle of this year, so might be another six months before you get a price this cheap, and potentially never again unless they do another split. Here is natural gas, what I've been trading on it, and a lot of trades today on futures. I had a, had a, what is it, a long on ES last night. I was up like a grand on it, and thought we might have a bit of a bounce today. I don't know why I thought that, I shouldn't have, because yesterday there was basically no buying pressure. This is all just selling. You wouldn't even make it to VWAP before, just sell off. So that isn't a sign that there's it's found the buyers yet, basically. So I don't know why I was thinking, oh, it's gonna bounce pre-market. And um, this just didn't look like that. Like if we had a bigger bounce and maybe hit VWAP or even broke VWAP yesterday, then maybe we'd have some recovery today, but no. And that's that's why we got this gap down and then just more of the same thing. It looks like today we're getting some of the some buying pressure. So yeah, we'll see. Monday might just be kind of chill, but usually red Fridays or red Mondays. Um, but this does look like actual, some buyers are coming in at this level, which is better than it looked like yesterday. Um, anyways, yeah, so I had that long and I should have closed it here. I was up, yeah, like 1200 here. Came down, I put a stop limit on it or just over break even. And yeah, so it stopped me out. Should have taken profits. And then I had a short on natural gas. 
or no, was it a short? No, that was a long too, and it gapped down. This one's so hard to trade. Look how choppy these daily candles are. It's just crazy. Gap down and then rallied up, and I was holding, I held the, sh uh, the long till where, like here. No, 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 here? Yeah, I held the long till here or here. One of these tops actually. And I was like, I'm just gonna cut out. Typically I would've held it longer, but I wanted to use the margin to trade. So cut it out, went short, and actually traded traded this pretty good. Um, bouncing off of VWAP is a little bit choppy and just the way this is kind of sporadic how it moves. It's not a smooth chart really, hardly ever. Um, so I was, I was just putting in limit, basically limit fills. When it was down here and I was going long, I would just put limit fills, you know, at previous zones. I didn't know this one, of course, but from here to here, I put a limit there. Uh, and then I think from here to here, I put a limit up there. So, yeah. And GameStop, I didn't do any trading on it today, but this thing is holding up somewhat well. It's pretty much totally flat today. It's even a little bit green for a bit there. Buy's making that move up. Ooh, should have gone long again. It's okay, I'll do the video. This is good. Won't overtrade it. Um, yeah, so it, the way it's calculated, basically that unrealized long. Uh, I think I'm up on the day, even though it says down 1300. I'm actually up on the day just because uh, this is counting. I lost a thousand from yesterday, but that was a thousand of gains that I didn't realize. So it was back to zero basically. But I did do some some poor trading today, some overtrading. When Spy just kind of, it was just so slow and mellow today. Uh, I was maybe forcing trades a little too much. I was trying to go short, but never really gave a great bounce. Um, of course, this looks like a nice bounce. Oh, 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 one big thing that I noticed today, and that actually would have changed probably the whole day for me. That would have got in a great entry, and it would have just been all profits basically the whole day, easy to hold. Um, but the futures and uh, the futures and the spy say they. Let me pull it up. It seems like stuff runs more in the futures as far as supports and resistances and even VWAP and that sort of thing. Jeez, that's a massive five minute candle. Yeah. Wait, what is going on here? That's weird. This futures, these futures actually move totally different today. Let's, well, I'm looking at the, just pulling up this one um yeah this is more like today the decembers i think are starting to to trade a little bit different just because it's a, they're expiring today i suppose um i've been trading this one the marches i think that looks pretty similar no it doesn't even though look at that yeah the vwap here on spy it never hit vwap uh but on the futures it actually broke it I believe let's see 945 no that was earlier i'm sorry so this is it okay so what it was today that messed me up was this rip was this morning and i wasn't watching the futures chart because people doesn't have futures so I should probably start looking at a big boy brokerage for my charts but i haven't yet anyways this real rally here in the morning came up and i didn't see i saw it breaking this so i'm at long here breaking this resistance and breaking the pre-market and so i went long and had a little bit of profit, didn't take it because I didn't see resistance here at all. I, I drew it in now, but I was like, there's nothing uh, for a long ways. Well, up to here at least, but it reversed here. And it was reversing on on the futures. Because back here yesterday, that was the low. See this? Spy never got that low. The futures got that low yesterday, uh, 1215. Yeah, right in this range. So it it rallied up this morning, hit that hit that resistance from yesterday's low, it was on the futures. And if you're just looking at spy, you would have never known. Okay, this is hitting resistance on the futures, um, but it's it's nowhere on the spy. So um, that is one thing to to be aware of. I think if you're, even if you're just trading spy, to also look at futures for levels of support and resistance as well as VWAP. Sometimes you'll see VWAP bounces or dumps on it, and it's. It's actually just on the futures and it's not on the spy basically because they trade a little different sometimes um so yeah that was one thing that kind of messed me up because if i saw no it's hindsight but i really think i would have traded this right because i would have seen a reversal candle and it would have been on uh that that support from yesterday and that's that's when i would have cut out and gone short 
or at least cut out, but probably gone short. Um, because that was a nice peak. And I was looking I was looking for a short, a bounce today to get a short on, because I, I did think it would probably keep coming down. The momentum is definitely to the down. And just how it played out yesterday, I was almost looking for the same thing. And it played similar to yesterday where we had a bounce in the morning and then it melted off wherever it was. Confusing with this short oh back here. So it bounced and then melted down. Um, I don't know if that was yesterday actually. But yeah, basically same deal, bounced and melted down. So something to keep in mind. Um, GME, back to GME. Not not trading it, just just holding it for now. RLF did come up today. Let's refresh this and see. Was that seven? Yeah, seven point eight. Sh available shares also came down. These are good things you want to see. Uh, sometimes indicative of a rally coming. Uh, our shares, I'm down on all of them, of course, a lot. And actually, even on E Trade, it's it's a little sketchy because now it's affecting my my margin because it has to pull pull margin over from this account over to the futures. So with Jimmy, this cheap, I, I'm losing margin. So this is basically what's happening to the short hedge funds when it's ripping is they're losing margin. So they're having to close positions, but we're not getting them to close positions yet. So if it rips high enough, then their margin requirements will be uh, in trouble. So I'm trying to do the same that they're doing just on the long side. Hope you guys had a good week. We'll see you on Discord. Merry Christmas. Peace out.